Okay, I am very excited. Eloise. Um, I don't know a lot about it, but I know that it takes place in a hotel and I love hotels and the stories that take place in a hotel. And also, um, that is a classic. I would love to hear if you already have uh, read Eloise. Here it says, Eloise. It's a little girl who lives at the Plaza Hotel in New York. She is not yet pretty, but she is already a person. Henry James would want to study her. Queen Victoria would recognize her as an equal. The New York Jets would want to have her on their side. Lewis Carroll would love her once he got over the initial shock. She has inner resources. If you take her home with you, you will always be glad you did. Love, love the vintage illustrations, perfect for me. Definitely my cup of tea. <laughs> That's really cute. It says here, I go to all the weddings in the white and gold room and I usually stay for the reception. I think that would have been a lot of fun. They're getting ready for to watch the players and I have to get my binoculars and call room service and order three Pilsner beers for Nanny and one Meringue Glacé for me, Eloise. And charge it please. Thank you very much. <laughs> I love it. That was a surprise that Nanny drinks three Pilsner beers. I think this is the oldest picture book that I've read. I love it. Meet Eloise, everyone's favorite enfant terrible, with enormous affection for Nanny, Winnie, Winnie is her turtle, and Skipper D, her, her dog. She skibbles through the Plaza Hotel, filling its foyer, corridors, stairways, lifts, and ballrooms with an infectious joie de vivre. Yeah, I like that and making friends, as well as exquisite observations everywhere she goes. Oh, you will absolutely love, 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 love this book. Yeah, I love it, I love it. And there are many Eloise books. Definitely, I, I definitely want to continue with this series. So there is Eloise in Paris, Eloise at Christmas time. I love it. I'm very happy to finally have read this book. I would love to hear if you have read this book and what do you think of it. Uh, I think it's definitely very cute. It made me laugh and I love, love the illustrations. And it's re really, really cute. And I love uh, her relationship with her nanny. And I love that she um, lives in a hotel. <laughs> My next book is Winnie the Pooh. Yesterday I read Winnie the Pooh for the first time and I adore it. It's so sweet and I especially love the first story. And the first story is Winnie the Pooh and Zombies. The illustrations are wonderful. And today I am excited to continue with Winnie the Pooh. Today I am going to read chapter 6. Eeyore has a birthday and gets two presents. So there is this sarcastic humor. Eeyore says, It is my birthday. Can't you see? Look at all the presents I've, I have had. He waved the food from side to side. Look at the birthday cake. Candles and pink sugar. Pooh looked first to the right and then to the left. Presents, said Pooh. Birthday cake, said Pooh. Where? Can't you see them? No, said Pooh. Neither can I, said Eeyore. Joke, he explained. Ha ha. I 
love the rhythm of the stories and I love how cute and sweet they are and he turned back and hurried back home as quick as, quick as he could for he felt that he must get poor Eeyore a present of some sort at once and he could always think of a proper one afterwards. I think many of us would do the same very fast, get a present of any kind and then a proper one later. I really love the writing style and how we are hearing how Christopher Robin talks with his father about Winnie the Pooh and the others and so Christopher Robin asks and didn't I give him anything? asked Christopher Robin sadly of course you did I said you gave him don't you remember a little a little I gave him a box of paints to paint things with says Christopher Robin that was it I love it it's so perfect. I didn't I didn't imagine it would be like that. I adore it. It's so precious. If you have some recommendations for picture books or sweet cute books or middle grade books, children's books, I would love to to hear about them. Thanks so much for watching and I will be seeing you very soon with another bookish video. Bye!